coders welcome to one little coder in this video we are going to learn about something called instruct picks to picks instruct picks to picks is a new hot trending methodology using stable diffusion where you can do image to image or in painting without using any mask but purely using text instructions for example if you see this picture if this is your input picture you can simply say swap the swan flowers with roses and you can get this and the same goes with all the other images you can have a picture of eiffel tower and then you can say add fireworks to the sky and then it would add fireworks to the sky this is an extremely powerful method and you can do a lot of things with this thing and this model is available on hugging face this model has got its own ckpt so this is the hugging face page if you go click the files and versions you can see the CKPT, you can see safe tensors, which means you can use it in your favorite UI possible, like whatever stable diffusion UI that you use, you can use this thing. But it's not more about how to use it, it's about how efficiently you can give the instructions and that makes that would make this more effective. So to make it easier for you, I've got the easiest way to try instruct pix to pix If you want to code and if you want to try it yourself, you can of course do it before that a quick shout out to tim brooks so thank you so much tim brooks for making this amazing implementation and then making it open source now i'm going to show you the same instruct picks to picks on playground.ai so now i'm going to go into the playground.ai playground ai sorry playground ai.com and i'm going to show you how you can make this possible so first go to the home page after you go to the home page click create and once you click create, it's going to give you certain informations. One of the thing is like the text based editing is available. So it says like you can use simple instructions like add sunglasses or change eye color and then you can do it. Click try now and that will let you take an input image. So I'm going to take an input image. So this is an image that I got from pixels. This is a wedding couple sitting probably on a wedding day, but I'm going to say make it uh, look like a desert not the fruit um, I'm going to say make it look like a desert and uh, let us see what it does it, it, it has changed it look looking like a desert so to basically replace the ocean or whatever the water body that they've got and then it has turned it into a desert and you can see some tips here so you can add remove or uh, you can you know use tiles and then you can change it into something like you can in fact like change the object that is present in here for example instead of desert you can say make it snow and you can click generate and that is going to try to add snow to this image and you can see um, like what kind of result that you get like you can see that how the picture this is like i mean like imagine the possibilities that it has got for in fact like wedding photography like you can take one picture and then make so many changes to it. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to try may make them ghosts, ghosts, and I'm going to click generate. And then you can see how it changes. Like when you see make them ghost, uh, you would see how um, okay. In this case, it didn't it didn't like properly do it because um, maybe it didn't look at the face. But you can actually see how it does these changes. I'm going to upload another image. I'm going to click cancel. And I'm going to upload another image. I'm going to click import image and I'm going to add the Batman image. I've got a Batman image here somewhere. I'm going to add the Batman image and I'm going to say, um, make it a fire, make it a fire, make it fire. Anyways, uh, if you upload this image, this is, I think poster from the dark Knight rises. You can see how with fire now the light effect changes and all those things. Okay. Once again, like you can say, make him make him a ghost and then you can generate it so the amount of styles that you can do like you can change their clothing you can um, you can change the style you don't have to necessarily do the masking yourself and it's not just like the particular part that you do masking so the potential is quite enormous like you can see when it has made it a ghost you can see everything around it how the color has changed i can say make him wear a suit and I can generate again so the like a lot of things that you can do um, so once again like the one that I'm showing you playground .com, is the easiest this is this is definitely not how a Batman make him a ghost is better make him a ghost 
Um, so the one that I'm showing you is playgroundai.com, the easiest way for you to play with play, uh, instruct picks to picks. But if you want picks to picks uh, on your own local machine, then again, like I said, you can use it via diffusers. You can use it. Um, you can use it with CKPT. You can use it with safe tensors. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to instruct picks to picks. I'll come back with a detailed video about how to use instruct picks to picks in your favorite GUI.